A mi- Woo! Phew! My hair on fire? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Chris with The Home Dad. And today we are going to test out two different types of fuel on our tabletop fire pits. We're gonna use the East Oak tabletop fire pit and the Solo Stove Mesa XL today. We're gonna to be testing out firewood and wood pellets today. Which one's best? We're gonna find out. This video is not sponsored. I purchased all these things myself, so this is my honest opinion. So stick around. We're gonna go ahead and start with the wood pellets first. Fire pits out. There. So I've burned wood pellets in these two before, but I have not burned regular wood. Whoops, dumped the pellets out. Kit Kat. I don't have enough in this bag. I bought another bag of this stuff. I've been doing lots of burns on these. I'm, I really enjoy it. I'm sharpen that. Quite dull. All right. Do the music. All right, I'm going to jump in here for a minute. It's been about a little over 14 minutes since ignition and we're at full burn now in both of them really windy it's really windy out here if you can't if you could see how the flames are going they're both getting a clean burn not much smoke at all pretty much smokeless all right i'm gonna interject because uh lost track of time and i'm gonna have to go eat with eat lunch with my daughter at school we're gonna go ahead and do the refueling see what happens because i'm really curious i haven't done this yet we're at 34 minutes which is full burn probably about i don't know 20 24 minutes 25 minutes we're gonna take one scoop and we're just gonna dump it in and see what happens let's see if it refuels it and it works good from this top down burn or it puts it out All right, everybody, welcome to the future. Dumping that whole cup of pellets in there was not fair. It snuffed out both of them and it didn't work. So we're gonna do a little bit different of a test. Woo! We're gonna do a test at full burn. I'm gonna dump half a cup of pellets in each of them to see how it reacts at full burn. And then we're gonna let it burn down and then we'll do another half a cup and see how it does then. Half a cup going into the East Oak, half a cup going into the Solo. I'm gonna let it burn a little bit and then I'm gonna try one whole cup and see what that does and see if it puts it out or slows it down. All right, it took the half a cup just fine, both of them. They're burning well. Now we're gonna do a full cup. So that's two scoops of my half cup and see what that does. So one, two, one, two. Burnt down a good bit. I'm gonna go ahead and refuel it with half a cup. See how it does. Half a cup, half a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and put another half a cup in the East Oak. Since it seems to be doing so well. All right, to keep this fair, I'm gonna go ahead and put another half a cup in the Solo. All right, so I bought a box of wood off of Amazon. Yes, I'm lazy. I have wood over there, but it hasn't been cut up yet. And I don't feel like cutting them down into big little small pieces. Hi, bud. My son's home now. Superior tray, it comes with a, I guess a wood bag. Hmm, interesting, cool. All right, so it's just like perfect little cut pieces of wood ready to go into the fire pit. It looks like this. Laundry lint. I saved this. This is what I use to help start this and some kindling that I used to start my bigger fire. So I'll get my uh, dryer lint down in there. Got my kindling. A couple pieces in here. And like I said, this is just kindling. This is separate from this wood. Get it started. And now we'll go ahead and put the other wood in there. Let's get her started. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. We are a mi- Woo! Phew! My hair on fire? We're two minutes in, guys. Look at these flames compared to 
I mean, two minutes in, and this thing is, woo, burning like crazy. It's still smoking, though. We'll say that. All right, guys, we are eight minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and refuel, put a couple, a couple more blocks in this one. It's been almost 22 minutes. They're not burnt out. This one's still running. This one's just off, going off cold right now. And it would be time to refuel again. I'm gonna drop three pieces in each. Let's see if she starts back up. I just dropped three pieces of wood that are about this small in there and it, it fires right back up. You can see here, we've been doing this for 23 minutes and 51 seconds. So I, I think you kind of get the point with how the wood burn goes. Just dropping three more pieces of wood in there, fires it right back up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a night burn with some wood. And then I have some footage of a night burn with some pellets that I'll throw in there as well. And then we'll go over my opinion on the wood, pellets, the differences, and what I think and which one I prefer. Stick around, Here comes the night burn. All right, everybody, it's time for the conclusion and my thoughts and my opinions about pellets versus wood. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down there and subscribe. That really helps me out, and we're getting close to a 1,000 subscribers, so don't forget to do that if you haven't already. When it comes to the initial burn, pellets or wood, pellets have more of a clean burn, less smoke. As far as the wood goes, definitely more smoke. At times, it is pretty much smokeless with the wood, but as far as the burn goes, the pellets do burn cleaner. As far as flame control goes, I feel like the pellets have more of a consistent burn. The wood is a little more unpredictable, taller of flame, just kind of all over the place and not as consistent as the wood pellet burn. Burn time before you have to refuel. This is a big one. Wood pellets. You're looking at about 30 to 50 minutes, depending on your fire pit. When it comes to wood, you're gonna have to do it a lot sooner. The wood burns down a lot faster and you're gonna have to refuel it a lot sooner than you would the pellets. As far as refueling goes, they both are, can be refueled. Pellets, you gotta be a little bit more careful when you refuel it. You don't wanna overdo it. If you overdo it, you're gonna put the flame out, snuff it out, and it just goes into charcoal pretty much. Comes to the wood, you can just keep putting wood into the fire pit, not really gonna put out the flame. You can continuously feed it with wood and not have a problem at any amounts really. But when it comes to the pellets, you're gonna have to be more selective. The e-stove could take about a cup, half a cup and a cup, no problem. The solo stove, I would stick to the half a cup if you have a solo stove. Cool down time, this one is a big difference between the two. Cool down time for the pellets is quite a bit longer than it is for the wood. The wood cools down a lot faster than the wood pellets. The wood pellets take quite some time to cool down after you're done burning the fire. Let's talk about the cost. Now, if you went the route of purchasing your wood off of Amazon, your cost on the wood is gonna be much higher. You're gonna burn through it a lot faster than you would buying the pellets. But if you chop up your own wood, it's gonna come in a lot cheaper than the wood pellets. But you gotta chop it into small pieces like this, which does take a lot of work. If you are willing to do that, you can get it done a lot cheaper than buying wood pellets or buying the pre-cut wood on Amazon. Pellets, they're not really that expensive, but this bag of pellets that you saw, I think I paid 13 to $15. I can't remember exactly. Um, I'll have to go check about that. I'll pop that up on the screen. For which one I prefer, I honestly prefer the pellets. I think that the pellets burn a lot better burn cleaner, more consistent flame, burns longer, and less smoke. Yes, there are some drawbacks. It takes longer to cool down and refueling process. You gotta be a little bit more careful, but all in all, they do the job regardless of which one you pick. 
That's my personal opinion. Remember, this isn't a sponsored video. I purchased all these things myself. If you're interested in any of the items we use in this video, as far as the firewood, the fire pellets, the fire starter, fire pits, all of this stuff, I'll make sure it's in the description below. If you're curious about the differences in the solo stove or the East Oak tabletop fire pit, and even a $19 fire pit, I'll put that video right here. If you're looking for one, it really helps you figure out which one's best for you. We'll catch you next time.